Hello dear viewers, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be discussing about the automatic invoicing feature in Odoo 60. You can find this automatic invoicing feature inside the sales module of Odoo. So for your to use it, you have to go to the settings module of sales and then there you have to enable this. Automatic invoicing feature is simply the process of configuring an invoice for the customer automatically. After you enable the automatic invoicing option inside the settings of sales module, an invoice is generated automatically once you confirm the payment done by the customer. So let's move forward to the module and see how to generate an invoice automatically. Okay, so now let's open the sales module and see how this automatic invoicing is done. So I'm opening the sales module here. The first thing which you have to do is go to the configuration settings. Okay, and you have to make sure that this automatic invoice is generated. So, I mean, enable, sorry. So here you can see automatic invoice is already enabled. So we need not enable it again and save it or not. So if you are enabling it right now, don't forget to save it. Okay. So after saving it, let's go to orders menu and under that, let's create a quotation. So here's the quotations, click on create. And here you have to specify the custom money. So I'm choosing Deco and let's add a product as well. So here is the product cable management box. Now before proceeding, that is before continuing, what you have to do is you have to make sure that the product you have chosen is having the invoice and policy as order quantity. So let's go to the internal link of the product and check it. Okay, so here you can see the invoice and policy is already in order quantity. So we need not change it again. Let's go back. Okay, now let's send it by name. That is, let's change the state from quotation to quotation send. So send by mail. It will change to the state quotation Z. Now before that, this is the mail which we are going to send. Okay, you can just click on send here. Okay, so the stage has changed. Now here you have a smart uh, tab called the customer preview. Let's click on that. And uh, from there you can see the preview of the quotations in the customer point of view. So you can just, now here we have chosen Deco Edit. If you give portal access to him, you can log in through his portal and there also you can find the same view. Now here you can see the quotation. Okay, the product which you've chosen and all the uh, terms and condition, payment terms, everything is there. Now here you can see on the left side of the screen, you can see the button as sign and pay. You can even download it and print it and all. Now just click on sign and pay here. Okay, so such a window comes where you can uh, generate the signature. So uh, this signature is automatically generated. If you want to draw, you can simply draw here. Okay, and if you want to load something, you can uh, take it from your system as well. So let's put the auto signature accept and sign. Okay, so click on accept and sign there. Now here you can see, I close this, you can see thank you or uh, your order has been signed. Okay, still need to need to be paid to be confirmed. So currently we've signed it. So the next step is to pay it only then it will be confirmed to a sale order. Okay, so here you can see pay now click on that. And here you have pay with. Okay, so here you have to choose payment methods. That is, you have payment terminals and all, right? So here you have COD and also pay in store when picking the product. So both of them uh, are unpublished. We will check with pay in store when picking the product or cash on delivery. Or simply we can just close it. Go to the configuration settings. Okay, so inside the settings you have the payment. So I'll just... Search for payment here. Okay, so inside payment, you can see payment providers. Open that. So this is to uh, do the online payments or not. Okay, so here you can see uh, COD is enabled. Also pay in store when picking, it's also enabled. Now here, you can see unpublished. One thing, we we'll enable it and save it. Okay, or simply discard. We choose some other payment method. For that, let's disable this. Saving it. So that we can't use this type of payment there. So currently we have COD as well as let's choose um wire transfer. So click on that 
activate put it in test mode then just save it okay so it's currently in test mode we've enabled it and we've saved it let's go back to the sales before that let me refresh it okay so go into sales now here we have the quotation sent which was the one which we created right now and go to the customer preview there okay so after going to the customer preview you can see the quotation inside the website you can't pay now here you have wire transfer test mode so clicking on that clicking on pay so here you can see payment is processing okay so it's done okay so here you can see please use the following transfer details bank account communication please use the order name as communication reference and all okay so here you have pay now again test mode pay okay so once your payment is successful you can see that message over here now we'll do one thing we'll enable something else so for that let's go back to the sales module itself and um, you know enable some other payment providers and let's see so go into settings here we have the payment payment providers okay so wire transfer is enabled let's enable this this one activate it it in test mode save it okay so you have to all uh, provide all these things let's just leave it there you have demo here activate it test mode okay and put the journey here i'll choose bank here and save it okay now we just refresh the page and go back to the customer review and try it again so here you have the orders um i'm opening the quotations and opening the one which we created right now which is the uh, sale order number which is seven six okay so here you have the customer preview click on that okay so here's the preview click on pay now so we click on demo you have the payment status payment details and all click on pay okay so the payment is processing so you can see the payment is received okay so here you can see your payment has been successfully processed thank you that message is uh seen there now let's go back uh to the sales and see so if you open it the seven six you can see invoice is generated delivery is generated and also it has been confirmed to a sale order if you just open the invoice so you can see it's in payment state right now so this is how uh, automatic invoice is generated that is you need a payment provider okay you go into the customer preview and from there you have to sign and pay after doing this uh, signing and paying in not if you come back to the quotation you can see it has been turned out to be a sale order and also the ribbon has come that is the payment ribbon has come that's all about the automatic invoicing i hope it's clear thank you so much for watching